Hey, what's up guys? Boss X7 here, and today I have a tutorial on No Limits 2. I'm going to show you guys how to make BNM um, arc spines that go into the ground as well as coaster nets. So let's get started here. So I'm going to make the spine first. So let's unfreeze the coaster. Go to supports. And for this, it's going to be really easy. So I go to add rail connector and locate the steepest point on the track. So go to front view and look for the steepest point which is right about here. All right, right there should be fine. There we go. Go to top view and add a footer on that spot. So add the footer right on this golden node right here. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna add a rail connector on every single cross tie. So add that until you get to the strict node over here where the track goes gets uh, goes straight here, and then skip all of those and go back to go down to the strict node on the bottom and start adding the rail connectors on the cross ties again. All right, so once you've done that. We're gonna go back and make sure each one is perfectly lined up on each cross tie. Let's go ahead and do that now. Go to add beam, support panel, and pick a color that you want and decide the size of track that you want. So. I'm gonna go probably 2.1. I know this is the width of the stock, so of the stock spine, so it won't look kind of awkward. And I'm gonna go height 3.5 and make it horizontal beam is fine. And make sure each end here it has 0.1 and 0.1. I'm gonna change the color to this yellow here and test it out before you start adding them to all of them. See if that's what you want. So I'm gonna start here and go to perspective and check it out. All right, so you can see this is too big. See how it's covering the front of the track here? That's not what we want. So let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's try probably 3.2. Let's try that. All right, that's much better. Alright, so now from here, just add them to all the rail the rail connector nodes. And once you get to over here, drag it from this last one all the way down to the bottom one over here and keep going from there. Alright, let's give that a test. Alright. So we should have this thick spine all the way down the, or all the way up the lift. Now let's make it spike into the ground. So to do that, just take it, use the same um, support setting, grab it from here all the way down to the footer we added. And you could angle the footer if you want, but I usually keep it parallel with the rail node here. And let's see what that looks like. All right, there we go. So we have our thick spine that departs from the main track and goes all the way down to the footer. Now all you have to do now is just add the the um, the flanges if you want. So let's unfreeze it and let's add them. All right, let's freeze it. All right, so it looks like might have to adjust the flanges a little bit, but all right, looks fine. Okay, so now we have the the big lift spine, as you see here. Now we can add all the supports and everything else later. Now we're gonna head on to these awesome looking coaster nets. So I'll show you guys in a minute here how to make these. So now go to top view, go to supports. Well, some freeze it first. All right, go to preferences. Make sure snap, snap distance is on 0.25 and grid size is on one foot. This is important, so press OK. And let's go ahead and start. So, go to supports, add free node. 
and add a node every 0.25 um, inches or 0.25 of a foot for about 17 squares. All right, that should be good. So now once you get this, you're gonna angle the, the sides up. So go to your preferences and make sure snap angle is at 45 degrees. That's okay. Let's go left, left view. All right, now grab about, uh, let's see this, that should be good enough. So press R and rotate it up one. There we go. Make sure you line this up on the line, just like that. Grab this one by this node here and line it up right next to it. There we go. Delete this. And let's take about that much should be fine on this side. Press R, rotate it, grab it, and line it up. There we go. All right. Next, let's go to top view. Highlight the whole thing. Define copy. Add define paste. Move this up on the line right up here. There we go, same here. And this should be 10 feet across, just like this. There we go. All right, so next step, we're gonna add the L-beams. So go to add beam, support panel. Make sure you have L-beam six by six. And go to custom color. Let's make it like a gray, light white gray. All right, and then zero these out. And add the L-beams. So go from this node here to the one on the bottom. Just make sure those are lined up, which they aren't. So if you see that these are not quite lined up, just lower them. So I'm gonna lower these ones a little bit. We can, uh, oh, that should be good enough. Let's try it on this side. All right, there we go. All right, so now let's add the L beams. So you go from the top here to this bottom one from this one to this end, and up, just like that. Same on this one. There we go. All right, let's freeze it and make sure it looks okay. All right, we got our L-beams in. Now let's add the, the netting here, so unfreeze. This part's pretty tedious, so, <laughs> so doing a lot of these is gonna take a while. So go to custom steel cable and make this 0 0.033 and press and color doesn't matter press close and add them on every single node going across this way all right now once you've done this go to top view and go to add a free node and see how these two line up? These two nodes here, the one I just added? Don't do that, so go one in on each side, just like that, and add, add the nodes. There we go. All right, highlight the whole thing. Go to perspective, and line them up. All right, that should be good. So copy the whole thing. There we go. Add the fine paste. Add another one. And we're gonna line this one up on this on this joint right here. Just like that. Alright, there we go. So if you need to see if you see that you need to adjust it, um, just make sure that these corners are flat when these two nodes meet up. Same on this side. So it makes it keeps it all straight and organized. So let's go to add the fine paste again. Add two more of these, and let's line them up. All right, there we go, and one on the top. All right, now we have to add the these horizontal beams from these nodes all the way across, all the way up, and back and forth. So let's do that now. So here we go. So once you freeze it, 
Alright, now we have some really nice coaster nets. So just copy and paste these and you can put them all the way up to the lift and you can see I already added some over here. So this is what they look like in pairs. And so just to find copy this entire thing, now to get the angle on the lift, just turn your snap off and rotate it to where the, let me show you right now. So rotate this entire thing and you see this line over here on the wireframe. Sorry, there we go. Just rotate it until it lines up perfectly. One of these white lines here, line up perfectly with this blue line here. And that should give you the perfect angle of your lift. And do that all the way up to the top until it's finished. All right, hey, what's up guys? Back here in play mode. So here's the final nets here under the track that pull up on the other side under the catwalk. So you can see it fills it in right here. And we have the box spine here that drops down into the ground on the other side. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys. Um, if you guys have any more suggestions for tutorials, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And uh, if you guys like seeing this kind of stuff, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. See you in the next one.